and I'm back with another healthy eating video. So in this video, I will show you how to make black bean quesadillas. So it includes absolutely no meat. So if you would like to find out how to make these, just keep watching. All right, so as I've stated in a previous video, my doctor has recommended I change my diet. Um, and so um, what she would like me to do is completely cut out all red meat um, and pork. So, um, so I was like, oh, okay, that's not too difficult to do. I've kind of went in that direction anyway. I started substituting my ground beef with ground turkey. Um, and you know, I mostly eat chicken and fish anyway. So she said, yes, you know, try to eat chicken and fish only. However, I also want you to limit the chicken and fish to just three or four days out the week. And I was like, huh? <laughs> Come again? And she was like, yes, just limit your chicken and fish to three to four days out the week. So I was like, well, what am I supposed to eat the other days? You know, um, and of course she said mostly vegetables the other days. And what she does is she tries to substitute her protein with things like beans and quinoa and, you know, stuff like that, um, where she can kind of gain her protein from that's not meat. So I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, I, I guess I can do that. So, um, I haven't quite got there yet to where, you know, I'm not eating meat three to four days out the week. Um, but in, um, in an effort to try to get to that place, I have started looking at recipes that doesn't include meat that are still really good. Um, and so I found this recipe online for black bean quesadillas and the pictures look good. The, you know, the ingredients look good. And I was like, I think I could do this. And I love tacos, Mexican food. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try this out. So I tried it out one night and you guys, it was so good. Oh my gosh, it was really good. So I had to record it so you guys could see how I make it. And I will say, you know, as I was making it, I was thinking of ways that I probably could have made it healthier. So I won't say this is like 100% healthy. It's kind of semi-healthy <laughs> because it doesn't include me. Um, but there were a couple of things I was like, okay, I probably could have, you know, cut this out or switched for this. So I'll probably go into that as I'm explaining the video. But, um, if you would like to, I made it just by the recipe. So you can certainly make it just the way I made it. It's delicious. Or you can substitute a couple of things to make it a little bit healthier. It's up to you. So, um, without further ado, enjoy the video. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So you need a um, one can of black beans. I call myself being good by getting the low sodium black beans. <laughs> but feel free to um, cook your own, like get the dry pack of black beans and just cook your own. Um, I'm sure that will be a lot healthier for you and would taste a lot better as well. Um, and then you need a cup of frozen corn. No need to thaw the corn out. Um, and I didn't measure this, I don't know why, so that's probably more than a cup. <laughs> um, a half of a red onion, um, chopped up really good, just a half a cup. And then you need one garlic clove. Just toss that right in. And then you need a pack of taco seasoning. Um, feel free to make your own seasoning. I've been meaning to do that but I haven't. And of course, I got the reduced sodium taco seasoning. <laughs> um, and then two cups of shredded cheese. Sorry, I turned my camera the wrong way on this. Um, and then when I was pouring, I was like, this is way too much cheese, but I was going according to the recipe, y'all. So two cups of shredded cheese. And then you mix that up really good. That's all the ingredients. Mix it up really good. Funny story was I was trying to videotape and mix this at the same time. That's why it looks like I was struggling. <laughs> then I got my husband to help me. So now I have both hands on the bowl. <laughs> and so I'm mixing it up really good. Um, mixing all the ingredients. And uh, once you got it mixed up really good, you get ready to start um, preparing your quesadillas. All right, so just get, you know, any nonstick pan, and I just sprayed it a little bit um, with some nonstick spray. And then I got my flour tortillas. Um, I guess you can use any size. I got the burrito size. Um, 
I guess it depends on how many you want to make. This makes about 10 quesadillas with the burrito size. So, um, so yeah, so then you just pile up some of the filling in the quesadilla or in the tortilla and then you fold it over um, kind of flatten it with your spatula and you let it cook on one side and then once it you know gets nice and brown on one side you're gonna flip it over and turn it on the other side for it to get nice and brown isn't that pretty <laughs> I thought so so here I'm just speeding up the process. Pretty much you do the same thing, repeat the same steps. Um, you fill, fold, flip, and repeat. So I'm just um, showing you a fast version of me doing several of these. And so then um, once I got a few out, um, placed it on a cutting board, and then I got a piece of cutter because I was trying to be fancy and cut them up, um, kind of like in triangles. And so then I get ready to plate it. So that's the inside of it. So the cheese is nice and melted. Like I said, if I would have cooked my own beans, I feel like it would have been even more gooey. But maybe I'll do that next time. So now I'm just plating it like I'm on the Food Network. And there you have it. Black bean quesadillas. Of course, I had to have some sauce with mine. Um, I wanted sour cream, but I was trying to be good. And that's it, y'all. So I hope you liked this food tutorial. And if you decide to make it, let me know how it goes. Till next time, see you later.